So, uh, hi guys, uh, can you introduce yourselves? Yeah, uh, my name is John Julius Royce and I am uh, co-founder of the Euroblast Festival. Yeah, I'm, I'm Danishman and um, I'm also the co <laughs> Alright, we are looking So, uh, this year's edition, how is the tournament? <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, it's actually sold out. Nice. Yeah. And so it's like a perfect event for us. All right. And uh, did you guys have any have a chance to watch any of the bands yet? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I watched. I watched a few sets. I watched uh, Panzer Brother and what was yesterday Nemec and I looked at Chip Spanner and Honey Structure. I have almost every band I had a look at least a look at. But some longer sets I have a chance. We just came from the Sarah show. It was so amazing. Yeah. So, uh, last year, uh, you were here you were watching a one day fest with one stage. This year we have two days, two stages. What are the plans for next year? Three days. <laughs> <laughs> like two different venues, <laughs> two, two different venues, yeah. and so we're in a bigger venue for sure. Multiple yeah. stages, and yeah, we have we have certain plans which are not. We well, don't want to go too much into the details, but we have plans to expand the workshop thing, to have bigger crowds, and have accommodation for fans. And a lot, and a lot of improvements we're working on right now, even at this event. We're planning, planning for the future. Do you have any bands lined up yet for next year? Uh, we have a few, but um, due to some internal uh, delays, we had to we had not the chance to like announce bands right here. But we have a few bands already, and I think in the next weeks we we'll come up with a lot of bands uh, we want to announce. But yeah, we have a list, you know. We have a wish list, it's a big wish list. Of names. It's getting bigger. <laughs> Actually, yeah, bands come to us and ask us, so this is yeah. a totally new situation where we can actually pick from many of us. Yeah. And we had a lot, of, a lot of chance to meet with the labels, with a few labels, and so we started planning possible tours, possible other stuff for next year. We want to yeah, we wanna spread the word about gen and about progressive, experimental, modern music, and yeah, we want to like Enhance and improve your last idea and brand that we're all doing. Cool. Uh, last year's edition, the sixth edition, if I'm not mistaken, it was the first edition really focused on gen. Yeah. Uh, and this year, it seems to have worked out because this year, for instance, in the Yeah. Uh, what is, what is, what actually inspired you guys to go down this road? The music itself! It's, it's, it's just yeah. our musical background. We are both drummers and we are really into that kind of progressive and uh, holy rhythm. So actually, yeah, just to start it in this direction. To be able to invite those bands to listening to the best thing. And it's, 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 it's a lot about improvement as well, I think. Because we try to improve all the time, we try to make the festival better, and the music is so modern, it's 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 on the pulse, it's like it's it's changing a lot. We are all with all new bands, more bands going up the experimental route, going the progressive route, and we're going the same route with the festival. It's like the festival to the attitude. So that's that's our way, that's why we want to do it, because it's just we want to progress along the music. Um, so you told me that your class is like your passion project. Yes. What, what drives you to do it? Like what, what gets you up every morning to organize all this? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, well the music itself and the bands and the appreciation and the chance to have the bands here in a, in a family situation. It's, a, it's for me, it's a family situation. That's between the bands, between the fans and the bands, between the labels and the bands and everyone. And in the team as well. And for me, it's it's this. It's yeah. It's like a Christmas party at home. So everybody knows each other, and it's like hi, and it's really positive energy. And that's what I'm working for. 
it's a positive effect on the entire safety. So do you guys have the, do you share responsibilities or do you have like fairly defined roles like I, I organise the pans and he does this? Well, um, But in general, we, we are like always communicating internally about everything. Um, obviously not next year, but in the future, do you ever plan to take your blast out of Cologne or maybe even out of Germany altogether? Oh, we thought long about it. And yeah, we're still thinking. <laughs> yeah, to, to make it a little bit clear, I think it's uh, your blast has to stay here because it's still and it's like it's like the best, the best it's in the middle of Europe, so it's a bad thing. But so we we had plans to like have a new a UK edition in the UK, but we dropped that because we really want to have the main festival here. And Maybe some sort of new glass brand that took me and that's Euro. Euro. Organized with huge fans. We're currently working on that. And still, the Euro Blast Festival, the original festival only in Cologne. Concerning Euro. Um, and last year, <coughs> we had a lot of bands who came and were unsigned, like Uneven Structure and Villarta, and now they're coming back this year and they have all the big label deals. So how important is it to you to have unsigned bands on your lineup? <laughs> <laughs> When it all started, they could do other towns. Eight, and just have a car on the That's what we wanted to do. We have a lot of big bands, so it's definitely going to be It's really amazing to see them and grow up. And it's just able to do No, there's so many other bands that we need to have this input. It's like if the band is great, we invite them. That's that's it. So, and and for me especially, I, I, it's like I, I I love it finding bands that are really great that have no record deal and they are in a, from a foreign country and to bring them here to our festival so that they are all, most of the time for the first time out of the country. So we did the same with Cesare, we did the same with. And disperse and the algorithm and endless other bands. So for us, it's like this exclusive thing we want to keep on. Yeah. Any last thoughts? Uh, anybody you want to thank? Anybody you want to say hello to? Them? I want to thank you guys. Yeah. Scott yeah. Jenner, come! So I definitely keep part of spreading the word. Yeah. For sure, and it's our pleasure. And the Euroblast team, which yeah. is amazing. I hope you all see that. Will be possible. So, yeah, we wanna, we wanna, yeah.